All right, we are live. What is up, guys? What Happy up, y'all? Saturday, June second. How are you guys doing today? Welcome to our third play along to the Schmodown. I'm ready to get my ass kicked again. All right, it's gonna be inner geekdom. Hopefully, we know one of these matches is inner geekdom, but hopefully the second one is. That's the question. But anyway, if you guys are just tuning into this live stream, we are playing along to the Schmodown for the third time now. This is a two-match episode, and it's Emma Fife versus Jay Washington. That's the Inner Geekdom match, and Emma Fife is playing once again. She's playing against the uh, the Machine, who I have never seen before. Yeah, she's a black girl. She's the newest addition to uh, Jay Washington's team. So those are the two matches happening in this episode. Like you said, hopefully both of them are inner geekdom. We yes. know one is definitely, but not sure about the other one. Yes, uh, Tyler K is in here. What's up, Tyler? Hey, man. Hey, guys. I'm so excited for Hereditary on Friday. Well, look, I'm looking forward to seeing that because my buddy Zach and Cody Curtis saw it already. They said it's the scariest movie they've ever seen. That's some big props. That's some big words to say there. So hopefully it is as scary as P as critics are praising it to be. Yep. Now this is an hour and a half video, guys. So this we don't want to wait too long. We kind of want to just get into this maybe another minute or so to see if people are going to chat. But uh, you uploaded some videos today. Yes, I did. I uploaded my Cars 2 review, which Sean Chandler talks about. Look, for, look at that review if you want to check it out. And also I uploaded my... Uh, Oh yeah, my Upgrade movie review, so go check that out. That's the newest release this weekend. You also were planning to see another movie as well. Uh, yes, Action Point, the Johnny Knoxville jackass movie. Are you um, going to see that? I'm going to see that hopefully tomorrow or Monday, depends on how I feel. I'm not in a rush to see it. Tyler K., yeah, I saw their Stardust review. Yeah, looking forward to seeing it. But yeah, guys, so before we get started, the Schmodown match, we're going to skip the ad you see at the beginning with the Schmodown Live. We're just going to go right into the opening monologue scene. So yep. we save some time because there's two matches in this episode. Yep. We don't want to make it too long. Yep, let's do our predictions. But we got four people in here. Make sure you chat. Say hello. Definitely feel free to play along with us. Watch you, de You'll definitely beat me, but I don't know if you'll beat Ryan. <laughs> but uh, uh, Ryan, uh, let's make our predictions real quick. I'm right. going with, I'll start with the Jay Washington Emma Fife match. I think it's going to be close. I think I think it really depends on how the wheel goes. I say it every time. I'm going with Jay Washington in this match. Yeah, that's a good prediction. It depends on how the wheel goes. If Emma lands on a lot of Harry like Potter, Harry Potter yeah. then she'll definitely win. If Jay Washington gets a lot of comic book questions, he's going to... It's tough, but uh, I'm going to go Emma Fife to win this. Yep, and then the next episode with the machine, haven't seen them, so I'll go Emma Fife. Yeah, Emma Fife. I think she'll win both matches. Those are my predictions. What are your predictions, guys? Well, we got Ninja, who's already seen the episode. But... And Ninja's already seen the episode. Don't let us know. Don't spoil anything, please. But we Thank appreciate you. that you're here supporting Ryan. And what's up, Dawson's Universe? All right, let's get started, shall we? Absolutely, but thank you for being here for me, Ninja. I appreciate that. Let's get into this match, guys, because, again, like we said, it is a long one. Here we go. Okay. We got Thad. Yeah. Thad. Hey, Kamish. Oh, hey, Kalinowski. Mike. How's it going? Kalinowski, oh, oh man. Good. I'm good. You've been up, uh, you've been busy these last few weeks, haven't you? <clears throat> yeah, you could say that. Yeah. You've been busy? I mean... Yeah, doing it's doing been, commission stuff, right? Yeah, it, it's, it never ends. Commission. It never ends. <laughs> commission. All right, well, you know, let's talk about that, shall we? Sure. So we're talking, the you, you're talking about uh, hey, well, five-way. Yeah, yeah, an interdictum? Yes. Yeah, 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 five-way five -way match. Yeah, that's not going to happen. We're going we're gonna to do something a little different with that. No, 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 no. It's going to be a five-way match, and then the, the winners of all... F like it's been done before. Five-way, four losers, one winner. Yeah, yeah, I think you remember that. Yeah, no, I, I do. Oh, I do remember that. And yeah. So that's why... Uh, we're gonna do things a little different. We're gonna do uh, a tournament. It's gonna be an inner geekdom tournament. No, 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 no. We don't have time to do all that tournament stuff. Let, we have to get let, let me stop. Jump let me stop you right there. Yeah. Because I think he brought a piece of paper. <laughs> what the hell is this? <clears throat> don't even have a name on it. <laughs> um, uh. You know what? I, I think I think a tournament probably sounds like the better option. Uh, I think we could probably squeeze that in. How many? What did it say? Do you think it's commish? You can make that happen. I, I th yes. I think I think I can. Of course, uh, we're not going to know. I can make that work. Can you make sixteen people work? 
Well, let me stop you right there. Sure. We're gonna, we're sure. Gonna, we're, gonna yeah. go, we're gonna go 16. 16. 16 people sounds fine. Yeah. 16. 16. Sounds fine. Yeah. Sounds sure. Wow. Well, you can tournament. Yeah. Yeah. Whole tournament. No problems with that. None whatsoever. Okay. You know what? You go ahead and uh, hold on to that because I got some copies of that. Hmm. See a little bit. Huh. Great. Where's the shredder? Where's the shredder, you said? Uh-oh. Oh, man. Don't know what that was about, but uh, we know what happened with Kalinowski last episode. Yes, yes. Well, Winning the first manager ball. No, they're just talking about the... Uh... The golden mine! Yes! That was a good match. I remember seeing that. I think yeah, that's, that's yeah. when they introduced the what new happened, graphics. Man. Then I have to blank out and watch Emma Bike like her the new fucking category. This is right. This is a manager's match. I, right I just now. realized that too. Yeah, two, two managers. managers going I'm at it. Utterly, ultimately pissed. Do you have any big plans? Are you going to try to get more people into your faction? What do you do from here? You want to know what I do from here? Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce to you my machine. You know her as Janine. And your winner! Oh, is this match first? Which one's first? That's right, I remember she did. She didn't win my match. That was a very boring episode, to be fair. Oh, that's right. So we have seen her before. Okay. Yes, we have. I think my machine has something she would like to offer you. I'm not dirty. going anywhere until you give me an answer to a challenge right now. Okay, do, do I hear you Listen. right, Janine? You're challenging Emma Five to a movie trivia showdown match. It's not that hard to understand. I accept. Are they going first? Oh, I think this match might be first. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so okay, so we have seen her perform before, and uh, now, like, now it's making sense. I'm still going Emma Five, though. especially if she gets Harry Potter. Because it's a rip. Yes. Oh, it's singles. Oh, it's singles. It's not. So it's not inner geekdom. Okay, so we got that answer too. So it's not. Okay. Yeah, it's not. So I'm gonna lose. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. Who's hosting? Who's hosting? Janine versus Fife. Janine. Is that her name? Welcome back to the yeah, the good old, the good old guys. Which we thank Christian because he liked your tweet, right? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Christian, what we have today and Josh McCoolgan as well. So that was pretty cool to see them both like the tweet of us posting our first ever play along to this. If you guys are in the chat, let us know. Definitely say hi. Uh, say hi. Play along with us. Let us know. We're sitting at the table during um, during Stacy Howard. Uh, no, Ninja Batman doesn't win. Moana. Janine the Machine comes out here, and Emma was minding her own business, and the Machine throws down. A challenge and to, to Emma Five. Okay, so she, she called her out. Yeah, let's Interesting. do it. Interesting. And the thing is, yeah. Emma Five has been on this this road here. Hey, what's she up? What's up, Good to see you in here, man. Winning the manager's bowl. Big W for her, conquering a lot of foes that we were rooting against anyway. One of those foes being Jay Washington. Don't and like him. So I think that Jay's definitely going to want revenge after that manager's bowl. Tries to recruit Clark Wolf. Tries to recruit Rachel Cushing. Can't loses to Mark Andreco, right? Can't do it. And then Emma. Not only gets Mark yeah, Andrico, right, gets right, the right, Shire right, Wolves, right. and has the Star Wars champion in her faction. Everything is going right, right for, yeah. for uh, Emma yeah, right Emma's now. Emma's got a good team. Does she have Jason Inman or no? Is that not like official? To their I don't know if it's official. Really yeah, kind of awesome. throw some heat <laughs> towards the Five Club. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, and that's two why champions. Emma Five is the favorite. Smart on her part. I'm just looking at this on paper as the uninformed layperson. I'm seeing 1-0 for Emma Five and 1-0 for Janine the Machine. So this is going to be an even playing field. I don't know about even. I think Emma has been around for a while. Janine I, I don't know her competitor. She wasn't that great. A chance to hear from yeah. the competitors, and there's not going to be a lot of nice words. Here we go. Oh boy. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You can spare your comments. Where's the rest of the Five Club? Yeah. They all wanted to be here. I politely asked them to please hang back. After all, I won the manager bowl on my own. That's what kind of set me down this That's path. Fair. Obviously, That's Andreco fair. was there. And for but that, it would have been nice to have their grateful. support, the I'm sure. He was the first person who yes. agreed to be part of this Be-wise faction asked you a question. and set us so on the road to victory oh, that nice we seem sure to be nice doing pretty well. I comments. remember around this time last year, I told the entire slowdown no, that I was going to put together a faction that would put the league on notice. And we were this 
us herself until she somebody to movies. decided she wanted to get high off white bread and be so crazy. Yep. So now I have Stacy who's out handling Viper business. I've got the machine who's gonna wreck <laughs> some hellish shop today. And right now, I want to take the pleasure of introducing you to the newest member of the Viper squad. Uh -oh. Ladies and gentlemen, please start clapping in your seats by your computers, by your cell phones, even your bootleg flat screen TVs for marvelous Marquia McCarty. So, as you see, things are getting uh, a hell of a lot bigger and a whole lot better out here. Personally, I think that there's a little bit of a grudge held on Jay Washington's part because I scored the Shire Wolves for my faction. He was after Rachel Cushing. Hardcore. I mean, who would? He maybe expressed yeah. a little interest in Clark, but Rachel in the is league. the one that really, really stings. And okay, I so let me get this straight: you've never seen Lord of the Rings, and you've never read a comic. Something. I gave up. two donkey deuces about Emma Fife and her little club <laughs> of goody goodies. <laughs> that was until no, Lord was going to run in her mouth. It's easy to just lazily cherry pick some decent players from the league. Zach, but a real yeah, evil genius knows how to build yeah, so killing machines gonna have, from the ground gonna up. Gonna you're going to be out Star there, you're okay. going to be Wrong talking man. about my goody two-shoes attitude yeah. or how I'm so jealous of Jay Washington and how the Viper Squad is here wise, to destroy everybody. But movie. listen, girl, Crunch. it's way just, easier to he talk has, smack He hasn't gotten game. around to seeing it's every totally single It's different movie. up there under the lights. I've been in big matches. I've been around big matches before. So good luck to when those lights are on. It is a totally Is there a movie you haven't seen that you'd like to share? Things you can do about it. Not so golden, Mike. And that's nothing. And deal with it. Damn it. I'm still. I think it's the machine and the Emma Fife up first. Look, a lot of the stuff oh, was dear. said. Yeah. So oh, is it just going to be a regular? Emma okay. was saying what we all, what we all said, and it was the fact yeah. that yeah. she's calling. So I'm going to be keeping Jay score right here, guys. As you can see, we have Jay game saying, one you know, and then game he two. Put together the wrong squad game last time. Says he's he's not right seen squad. Force. Come. He introduced Marquia. We've seen Force. That's interesting. That's right there, and then now we have. I think it's over this heated rivalry between both groups. Yeah, All right. I, I don't well, know how to put this yeah, I have what's, what's a movie? As well, the leader I guess of I guess faction goes. Uh, he, he's in need of hydration. He could use electrodes. He's a very thirsty manager. And when you look at Emma Fife, she not only is a good competitor, but she also seems to be more in control of what's going on in her faction. Jay's building something right now, and they can take a huge step I mean, yeah, they just added a new player. With a win over Emma Fife here This today. would be huge for Janine. She would be 2-0. She took, took a victory over Bonnie Somerville, who Jay had been back players. in the ring for a little bit. And then yeah. Yeah, you I agree. Emma, who, who I definitely agree. I think only Tom, two players. I mean, you Jay have to see Emma, who has Clark and Rachel. She has Drake and Drake. And Sam. This is a huge victory for either she one of these start, competitors here. They would be 2-0 oh, and, and find themselves in the top ten yeah, in the singles. That would be pretty interesting. Yeah, I mean, look, it's a huge achievement to be in yes, a fight. Yes, uh, B-Wise. We, we know about Adam. It's unfortunate. We love Adam. He's always here to support us. And I love you, Bonnie Somerville. It's unfortunate. For sure, watch but uh, oh, you know, yeah. huh? we hope one day Adam makes a no, comeback because right. we love his channel no, and Adam's a great right. guy hey, too. Thanks to our sponsor, so, Starbucks. Starbucks. But uh, right. you know, personal here stuff comes go. first. Now yes. we get before you to the tail. I'm drinking today, Christian. I can tell. Here we go to the tail of the tape first. I think we're getting, getting there, guys. We're getting to the match. What's your strengths? strengths? Comic book Comic movies, book 80s action adventure. Okay. 90s movies and talking smack and not like Ryan, what's your uh, strengths? Managers with blonde hair. One of my strengths, yeah, comic yeah, book movies, the movie release Wait, dates. Movie Emma release dates. <laughs> <Emma Fight. laughs> has the strengths of Harry New Potter releases. movies. Also, yeah, I think those are your three strengths. Movies. I'd say, I'd say animated movies for me. Uh, Probably new releases too. I think I could do blonde. decent just because I edit all your videos. I might know stuff. Sweden right and, um, now because Janine the Machine is coming. Can she do it? Pixar. I don't know if that's all right. So if you're Pixar animated, and I guess maybe not. I was I guess I only have two strengths, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here they come. All right, let's get to the competitors. Introducing first, representing the Viper Squad. And I'm going to be writing my scores on this right now. That is Black Panther. Oh, this marvelous Marquis. Pretty much all those yes, I actually did. Jay Washington. Oh, B.Y. says he loves that song. 
I love that song too. It's a great uh, end credits song. For the MC I love Black Panther. I want to see it again soon. I would say that would be one of my favorite anger songs. Anger here, as the look, and well, this is what I like about the about the Viper Squad. They do. They come out. They wait. The they wait. Now Emma said she was going to be by herself, but I'm I'm hearing other. I'm hearing another thing. You don't think it's just going to be Emma Fight emerging through that? Yeah, I think it's been around, but now we know it. There was a certain competitor that that plead. I would say still the best manager. She really wanted to be. In all honesty, I have no. Who could be? I mean, based on wins. Well, actually, Patriots aren't champions. Anymore. That, that is true. That is true. Representing the well, Five Club, saying for all the success they with have, a record of one win, no defeats. The one and Mike, Emma Five. Oh, Harry Potter. Oh, Dar oh. oh. Star Wars. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be Harry Potter or some shit. Was she having a lollipop in her head? Uh oh, Rachel. Rachel's there. There's Rachel. She's gonna pour the pour. Do the pour. Rachel Cushing coming out here. That is a nice show of support. Will yeah. the port be for support or for sustenance during the match? <laughs> We're about to find out. I'm about to bite the head off this little port. <laughs> just like Gina's, Gina's about Jay, to bite Jay, what are you doing up there? Fight. Packed with just, protein. Oh. I see Jay, Jay Washington's sit sit. Instagram selfies from the gym all the time. Jay, he Jay. clearly needs more grams today. <laughs> all right. Here we go, guys. So if, uh, I can ask, if I can ask the Viper squad to, to please leave. Yeah. Jay, going back to 24-hour fitness. Oh. Will he take Marquia with him? Uh, <laughs> I, like, I like Janine's mug. Right, You're writing your inches on a whiteboard, right, Ryan? So guys, round number one, how's it going to work? Uh, markers. Uh, in round number one, oh, when you get the those? competitors are going to hear eight questions oh, yeah, from eight oh, nice. different movie So you categories. can see my answers Each better. question good, is good, good. one I will be writing on a no note card. There is no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing in person round one. Here. Once Thank we you ask to that the question up here, it's the end of the ball. That's okay, man. That's okay. That's fine. This is a little... Some people will probably come in this time. You are going to hear the countdown to one, please write down your answer or your best attempt at the answer on the whiteboard in front of you. When we ask you, I'm to curious to see how many answer, you're going to get. Please show the whiteboard yeah, I'm to the camera to as Hopefully well as this is like, this isn't just the amplification it. device provided by Copster. All right, so Copster. if you have all the rules here too, remember here we go. Here we go, boys rules, and girls. The challenge rules. And Emma, are you ready Emma to go? There's a I'm ready, rule. Christian. Machine, you ready? Let's do this. Then let's, let's get, get ready, ready to shoot. Let's do it. Begins and your first question comes from the realm of action adventure, ladies. Here we go. Who played the lead character, Beatrice? That's Beatrice. 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 Tris Pryor in the Divergent films. I believe the Beatrice lead character was the name oh. of one of the mice in Cinderella. Tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. What were their names? No, no. I'm sorry. The fairy godmother. Were they Sleeping Beauty? Five. Okay. Four. Point Charlene three. Woodley. You're insulting me now. Two. Charlene Woodley. Who played the lead character Beatrice Tris Pryor in the Divergent film? Yeah, let me know right, if you so guys I know that they were talking. Yeah, I can see it. Yes. Well, yeah. Gus. Either I spelled it wrong. I said there Charlene. Were three fairy godmothers, one of whom was Beatrice. Five. I was close four, enough. Right, but three. three well, spelling doesn't two, count. One. Yeah. Hands down, please, Janine and Emma. Uh, Mark, the movie you're thinking of, I think, is Sleeping Beauty, and the answer is Shailene Woodley. Correct for one point, Janine. Don't have it. Didn't have it. Ah, do, oh. I get the point, do I get the point for that? I don't know. I said Charlene. Charlene Woodley right, so, a right, one, one time in Los Angeles. Did you? She's a nice person. I heard, I heard she was hugged. She likes to hug. Did not hug me that no. day, right. nor any other day. We go to romantic comedy, and yeah. your question is, who plays Dr. Aaron Connors, Amy Schumer's co-lead and romantic interest in train wreck. Some would say that was a uh, Tom Dagnino life bio. <laughs> train wreck. <laughs> yeah, very Bill Hader. Yeah. Plot and theme, right. then, yeah. Is it? Five. I, Bill Hader. Be that Bill Hader. Four. Can you repeat the question? Yep. That's your first one. And, and LeBron James is in that movie. Yeah. rules yeah. like she has an... Black Amex. Thank you, Rotten or Fresh. Is, <laughs> Dr. Aaron Connors, Amy Schumer's co-lead and romantic interest in... Oh, I Raven. put hater as a lowercase h. Do I still get the point? Four, three, <laughs> two, one. Janine? 
Bill Hader? Correct. Emma. That was the name yes. I uh, could not I'm come on the up board. with. I knew it was kind of like, uh, anyway, it was an SNL person. I Fred <laughs> yes, Fred and didn't you do a little bit of voice work for your little friend, BB-8? Oh, <laughs> I believe, oh, actually, that was Ben oh. Schwartz. Oh. The digs. Yeah, Hader did also. Oh. Yeah, they both did. They both did, yeah. All right, here we go. Points are flying yeah, by the screen. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Next one is dramas. 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 In the film Spotlight, Michael Keaton and Mark Ruffalo work for which newspaper? Uh, did you know Michael Keaton and Mark Ruffalo have both played superheroes? Can you name the superheroes they've played? Vulture and Hulk. <laughs> Just thought it'd be a fun <laughs> mom. Uh, I haven't seen it. I know it's a, a winner. Superhero. I'm going to say the New York Times. Uh, is Raising Boston Kids Globe a superpower? Four. Absolutely. I say I should have won the Boston Globe. I say get Boston. rid of one. And <laughs> Emma. Total guess, point. the New York Times. Incorrect. Janine. Guess Chicago Sun-Times. Correct. Looking for a Boston Globe. That's sure. Uh, That's a show, right? It's a really good movie, but really All right, it is one-to-one one one. as we move on to the world of comic book movies. Ooh. Your question therein. Who played reporter Vicki Vale in Tim Burton's 1989 film Batman? Oh, God. The reporter? Seen, going uh, Keaton Blank Man? I'm not going to I, I saw Blank Man in the theaters. <laughs> Yikes. Damon funny. Wayans. He had I thought they were about to say the reporter in Iron was Man. a good joke, I remember. That girl was in the beginning. Oh, I know. Five. I heard him. I chuckled. Lovely bib. Three. Two, a lot, actually. One pens down, please. I'm not and even a guess. And we have uh, Janine. Kim Basinger? Correct. Kim, Kim Basinger. Basinger. Correct. Is it Basinger? I, I want to give him neither points. You still have the most points, Ryan. Right? No Three to one right, right now. Stop it. Yeah. Stop it. Next Hit the G. Question. Next question. All right, here we go. Fantasy sci fi. Fantasy sci fi is your next question. Who directed the first Hellboy film? Oh. How would you like it if your nickname Easy. was Hellboy? Right. Hey, here comes Hellboy Hardcore. Uh, Hellboy. That's my nickname. It should have been. Better than Hellboy. Hey, don't let Hellboy find out about that. You know. Guillermo. Five. Five. Oh, I should have known that. Three. Two, one, Emma. I don't know who it is, but it was not Guillermo del Toro. Yes, it was. It was. <laughs> <laughs> All she had to do. What? Nice job, Ryan. Nice job. Oh, she does not miss. get the point because she had not. Yes, that's right. Janine. She doesn't get the point? She doesn't get the point because she said not Guillermo del Toro on the on thing. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's All right. Our next question comes from the world of animated movies. These are movies that are drawn on paper on a computer. Your question is, what is the name of Dwayne The Rock Johnson's character in Moana? Really? Wow. Really? This is the easiest question you could have given me. <laughs> Maui. I hope does not write N-O-T at the top. Five. <laughs> no, I learned my lesson, Mark. <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Janine. Maui? Correct. Woo! Maui. All right, so machine's still up by one here. Four because of that, three. not Del Toro. We have a one point <laughs> lead by machine. That wasn't really a gimme. That was my here. best bin, you know. I know. Shout out to John Stephen Roca. Don't worry, it's not that bad. Here we go. So next question is horror. Ugh. I'm not going to get this. No. Horror, horror thriller. Horror, horror thriller, thriller is your next category. Know, your penultimate one in round one. And um, I'm going to allow Christian to Thank read you. this question. Just steal my thunder here. Right, right. <laughs> go ahead and read one. Thank you. A cricket bat is used to fight off zombies in which horror comedy? How do you read that question? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I know this one. No, I think you ruined it for me. <laughs> I didn't. You heard it. I set you up. I was setting it up and no, I teed you up. Um, fine. Is it Shaun of the Dead? Four, yeah, I wrote three, that too. Shaun of the Dead. Two, one, pens down, and Emma. Shaun of the Dead. That's correct. We got a horror question oh, right. Oh, nice job. I haven't even seen the Cornetto yeah, trilogy, well, and I got it so right. Far, this is a Patreon question. You can shout out to Patreon Shmodown supporters. Patreon. Thank you. We are Patreon of the Shmodown. Support. This Patreon question comes from a loyal Jake Patreon. Hammer. Thank you, Jake, for all your support of the show. Jake, apparently his Patreon. last name is Hammer. Right you think he likes suspense movies, action, maybe construction movies? He went with comedies. All comedies right. is your <laughs> last category from Jake Hammer, and the question is. What movie features the song Scotty Doesn't Know as a running gag throughout the film? The gag? The, 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 Boy, the, uh, the ooh, crowd. crowd. The crowd uh, yeah. seems to be a crowd favorite. Know this one or you don't. I have no idea. If, I'm not, if I have no idea, I'm not even These Patreon words. questions are tough. Three, two, that was the one. That first tough down, Emma and okay. Janine. Euro trip. That's correct, Emma. I uh, did not know the answer, but I'd like to take this moment to thank all of the patrons. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> <right. Yeah. laughs>
Thank you, I like Patriots. that. I thought it was a very nice Hero thing. trip? Was so that what you said? Hero trip. Round Just the fact two. that never so many it. people know Euro trip. Yeah, that's true. I've Euro never or seen the Euro. movie. Euro I didn't know trip. it was that popular. Oh. Well, the machine saw it, and the machine has a two-point lead here over the All righty, guys. So at the end of round one there, Ryan has six, and I have three. So I'm happy with that. That's my best. That's my best round Each one performance so far. This is the most points the I've ever put up in a showdown episode. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I'm so <laughs> Give me more animated questions, it. please. Those questions, Reith, were two points. If you're not sure of the answer, you can check the multiple, check the multiple choice. choice. At which yeah, point, right. the value of the question will go down to one. So yeah, that's how we'll do the score. And if we get it right without multiple choice, two points. Two, and and like point just like these guys do it. One of our slices is from the Patreon that Emma Fife is such a big fan of, and that would be Monster Movies. That is our sponsored movies. slice. Like All right, I would machine, not want that. Oh, thank you. Two. <laughs> would you like to go first or second? I'll let Blondie go first. Oh, Blondie. Oh, oh, go first. Oh, she's, hair color. She's, she's ruthless. She's she's not nice. it's, not really, it's, it's not accurate because it's like blonde pink. Yeah, there's some there, there's some uh, some pink going on. It's on, on there. there yeah. Action and... I, I would say salmon. Well, I think perhaps. I see yeah. Harry Potter on there. Does anybody ever I can't even, can't even can't see the wheel. Want salmon. I mean, you walked into a restaurant. Good spin by Fife here. That's salmon and asparagus. Pork helped her out with that one. Is there's choice. No, it's not. It's going to be 2,000. 2,000? Thank you. I might be okay with that. Movie movie movie, yeah, movie release. You would want that. What are we doing here? Interesting to note. And round and round the wheel goes. You think she's looking for something that would be in the realm of, I don't know, uh, a uh, Harry Potter? What would have those kind of things in it? Kate, Kate Winslet. Winslet right. movies Kate it Winslet. Kate Winslet. Oh, no. Uh, no. Uh, All right, let's sit back. Uh, Titanic. <laughs> okay. I love a Titanic. Here we go, Kate. Who directed Titanic? <laughs> All right, Emma Fife. And yes. In the world of Kate Winslet movies. Uh, she's an actress in Hollywood. Yes, I am aware. A little bit more luck? Oh. Thank you, Rachel. Thank another you. Pork, another Thank pork you. comes out here. Uh, Christian, another pork has been added, yeah. and that's another pork that has escaped Jay Washington's mouth. Right. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Emma, your first question to you and your gaggle of porks. <laughs> it's a murder of porks. It's a murder. Yeah. Murder. No, like crows. Anyway. Your question is: Besides Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet, what other Titanic star? appeared in Revolutionary Road. Hmm. Can I go multiple choice? Multiple I can choice provide that for you and your school of porgs. Is it A, Billy Zane, B, Kathy Bates, C, Bill Paxton, or D, Susie Amos? Bill Paxton. I'm gonna go Billy with Zane. Billy Zane. Incorrect, <laughs> Gene, for the steal. Bill Paxton? Ah, oh. no point for either one of them. We're looking for Kathy uh, Bates. She'll club your heels if you miss I don't know. Question. Kathy Bates from Misery. Question two. Uh, question question number two. Who plays the older Michael Berg and Kate Winslet's co-lead in the movie The Reader? Multiple choice. Multiple choice. <laughs> I'm going to have to go multiple choice. <laughs> I got that for you and your flock of porgs. Is it A, Kevin Spacey, B, Ralph Fiennes, C, Patrick Wilson, or D, Jude Law? Patrick Wilson. I'm going to say Ray Fiennes. Give her a one point. <laughs> there you go. Okay. She's within one. To... <laughs> uh, Kate Winslet, man. <clears throat> and your next question. Emma Fife? Mm -hmm. Kate Winslet played the villain, Janine Matthews, in this film franchise based off a series of young adult books. Uh... Beautiful creatures. Ooh. That is incorrect. Uh, we go to Janine. Divergent. Two points. Oh, Ooh. Up a three point lead. And she is Janine not singing Emma Fife. That world. was a big two point steal. <laughs> All right. Hold Emma on. Fife. Oh, that's right. Wait, yeah, that's right. All right, Emma Fife, your last question to get within a point I'm of Janine the Machine. Yeah, she needs this. Kate Winslet starred opposite Michael Fassbender in Steve this Jobs. 2015 Steve bio. Jobs. Uh, I'm going to have to go multiple choice. I can I provide that for that. you and your uh -huh. pride of porgs. Is it A, the mountain between us, B, spotlight, C, Steve Jobs, or D, concussion? Can you repeat the answers again, please? Happy to. Is it the mountain for between us, yeah, for Steve Jobs. spotlight, Steve Jobs, or concussion? 
I'm gonna go mountain between us. Nope. So Steve Jobs. Uh, Ryan gets two points there. Points, uh, Ryan gets two points for that. Bracing the wheel with the faintest of touches has a four point, four point lead. lead. <laughs> that was big, and it's her turn. If she gets comic book movies or action we'll adventure, it's Janine. over. Go ahead and give it a spin. Janine, no Jeez. help from a poor no. spinning this wheel. Janine, if she lands on something, gets opponent's a choice though. That could help. Out of commission. Yeah. That's really Emma's big That's chance big right here. She gets opponent's choice. Is looking solid. It here. slows uh -oh. down. Past opponent's choice. It could be rom coms, Christian. Rom coms, which is a strength. It's Does she like to fall in love and laugh? She says yes. Ah, uh, it's not a strength uh, for oh us. <laughs> okay, here we Kate go. Kate Winslet and right, rom coms. Janine, you have four oh, questions gosh. in the world of rom coms. Your first one. Ryan Reynolds tells his daughter the story of how he met her mother in which 2008 film? Definitely, maybe. Two points. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Two points. All right. Okay. What was Amelie's occupation in the charming romantic comedy Amelie? Multiple choice. Is it A, market clerk, B, nanny, C, nanny. salon hairdresser, D, waitress? Waitress. Waitress? That's correct for yeah. one point. All right. All right. This is a pretty incredible run Janine's yeah. on right now. In the romantic comedy slash comedy, Dave, who plays the first lady, Ellen Sig Mitchell? Sigourney Weaver. Sigourney Weaver. Is it Emma Thompson? No, is that correct? Um, Steel. Big Steel. Uh, Big Steel. Meryl Streep? Oh, no. Sigourney Weaver. Good Sigourney job, Weaver. Ryan. Stop. Good oh, job. I knew that. Man. All right. Jeez. I knew that Janine, because of Two points movie. here. <laughs> because of that miss, there's no chance for a knockout, but here we go. In which film will you find Paul Rudd, a real estate, in search for a male best friend? I love you, man. For two points. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Janine the Machine. Uh, yeah, this is a nine-point lead. Nine <clears throat> lead. As she gets into round number three. Mark, how does round oh, number three boy. work? Round number three works. Well, like at the end of round two, guys, Ryan has 11, and I have 20. three. Those numbers correspond so. to a category up so, yeah. here <laughs> at our answer desk. Hey, there's still this round? So far <laughs> up front, or even <laughs> with a one-point yep. lead, she's still got this honor. Janine's going to give us her numbers first, then we'll get the numbers from Emma. Your she's playing well. It's going to be worth two points yeah, your next man. question is worth three points your last question should we get that far is worth a big meaty five points and that will determine the fate here today uh janine without I'm further, further ado your starting. numbers please uh three six and nine three six and nine going all oh, those are those all are right. what prime numbers emma five no, uh, let's go ten Seven and fourteen. Ten, seven, and fourteen. One of those is a part of the strategy. Has to what hit. Emma five has to hit all three of these in order to stay in the game here. Jay Washington on his feet, hoping for this TKO. But here we go as we get to oh, two more pugs coming in. Oh, we have. Thanks, uh, Rachel. Uh, is this right. part of the strategy? Right. As we get, yeah. as we so get, Emma five has as many <laughs> it's, points it's right now. Open. Christian, all right. Right. take away points. <laughs> I'm stating a fact here. You just got I'm stating a fact here. Hey, you just you just want heal on me. You just want heal on me. I never go heal. All right, here we go. So, unless the good people at Coors Light ask me to. <laughs> All right, be nice to Emma Five. Here we go. So yeah. we have number ten is what you chose. Yes. You chose Matthew McConaughey for your two. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Stay in the game here, Emma. You need this. Who played Matthew McConaughey's co-lead Rayon? in Dallas Buyers Club. Jared Leto. Jared Leto. Points. <laughs> <laughs> just right. I don't think you said it before that. The extra points clearly be supplementing her right. film knowledge. That jumps us to her three-pointer. And her three-pointer comes in the, in the realm of Sandra Bullock films. Okay. Sandra Bullock films. Who plays George Wade, an arrogant billionaire, real estate tycoon, in two weeks notice? Uh, two weeks notice. Hmm. <laughs> Five, four. Can you repeat three. the question? She's the last JT rule. Yeah, she has one. No, she has one. <laughs> Who plays she the George Wade, an arrogant up. billionaire real estate tycoon? She's a five pointer. In two weeks. Oh, you're right, you're right. Is right. it Hugh Grant? Like, three points for Emma Five. Hugh so Grant's a good choice, man. Go, <laughs> go, always go with Hugh Grant. This entire <laughs> round, if she gets this yes. next question right, takes Christian, the lead. Inexplicably, <laughs> Janine the Machine is now going to have to come to play in round three as well. Here we go, she Emma. You need this. Lead. All right, yeah, so here is your five pointer. It is in the realm of Scorsese films. Mark Scorsese. Paul Schrader was the screenwriter of which Martin Scorsese film? I will uh, repeat the question. 
It's probably one of his. Paul Schrader was the screenwriter. <laughs> Take a guess. Of which Martin Scorsese film? Uh, I will say Gangs of New York. <laughs> And oh. winner, by way of Good try, Emma. Good try, Emma. But all right. Well, Janine the machine proved herself in this match. I don't even know. Washington, you know he's, he's got the there he is. He's, he's dancing now. He's dancing. You go in there alongside, and they're just yeah. waiting. What's the name of the Janine, but they're off camera. Guy? I don't know why they're off camera. I wonder what would happen if they're on camera. They're so, they're so happy. Okay. Well, they did it. Jay we'll finally it gets up. a victory over Emma Fife. He's very excited. Maybe but someone can let us know in the comments if you're paying attention um, to the person's name. I don't think this name. is the end of Emma Fife in no. singles by any stretch of the imagination. Shit, but clearly, well, guys, at the end of that match right there, Ryan finished with 12 points and I had three. I finished with more points. A very but, uh, she's a great manager of a great Ryan player. came yeah. in second out of her, but it's a nice job, right? I mean, you, you talk about we go on to game two now, but we're going to wait and, uh, It's another thing yes. to put a faction on your back, and it seems to be what Janine the Machine's yeah. MO is because she's taking the Viper Squad, and as we said in the pregame, elevating match. them to another one. Oh, that's right. She does have another match. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in these post interviews because I'm sure we have a lot of matchups that could potentially happen. Here we go. What's up, Schmodown patrons and fans? I am Ryan. here with Ryan's Janine, Awkward. the machine. The first place finisher today. How are you feeling? Oh, jeez, you're right. <laughs> I'm glad you're feeling perfectly. Hey! Hey! Thank you. Now this has Thank begun. Jay Vader's is in the building. Now we can see who's going to score more points. Now, Jay, this could be our next play along. Emma and Jay Washington. Let's go, Jay. It's beautiful. Janine didn't even Ryan just finished with 12 points. Points and I finished with three. You know How did Cody do, so Jay? Cool. <laughs> I'll take I it. I definitely would not because I'm not on that level, and that's okay. Since Jay has joined the live stream, guys, Jay Vader's has asked me if he can join my Schmodown play. And I said, absolutely. Yeah. So Jay will be joining me in the Schmodown play. We got a couple of matches coming up next week. We got the team action in the Shire Wolves and Star Wars 3. Way, yes, and it's going down the tonight. Place, if you miss, going down live, yep, yep. So look forward to those sure. matches. Yep, I'll have, Jay and I will do. I'm gonna be figuring how to do that out that soon. I um, just had a lot of videos to edit today and such, but I will be figuring that out in the coming days. So, uh, that's there's exciting. a reason you weren't yeah, there. Yeah, that is exciting. Jay said, Nice job, Cody. Thank you, man. You know what? Jay says he'll destroy me. I don't know. We'll Ryan see. had 12. We'll see know. about that, Mr. Marquia. One goddamn Marvelous. percent. Thank you. <laughs> now, um, it's We're just waiting for the second match to start. There's another one after down. this. I watched <laughs> Showdown itself. I watched championships come and go. And I realize... She looks awfully familiar, me. this girl that's talking. Showdown deserves Marvelous Marquia McCarty. And in particular... Viper squad I believe in you, Cody. Me. Jay, you know I who else thank you. Thank you so much. Me. I'm gonna I'm gonna score Rachel more than five points Cushing. one of these days. Rachel Maybe Cushing. it'll be the inner also geek. Also known as the Crusher. <laughs> just ask me a question right in Harry Rachel Potter about us uh, Chamber of Secrets because I just watched that movie. <laughs> they should have Pixar in oh, Because you deserve If favorite. they had a Pixar league, I would join that. Get. So prepare yeah, yourself. They'd run out of questions. There's no preparation for marvelous. Who plays? Who, we, who voices the... Like, who voices like, Woody? It's more, it's more like, uh, Woody <laughs> in Toy Story. No, 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 no. Thank you, Jay. <laughs> I'm about to take uh, on Jay the Jay says, Android. Cody, prepare the for your list for Pixar and me as well. The Android. Gosh, yeah, that's going to be a really hard list. Oh, yeah, it's top, top ten Pixar moments. Five, 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 you're doing your characters with Jay. Top ten Pixar characters. That's like... God, Jay, that's a hard list. Top ten Pixar moments. I can't wait to do that is coming yeah, up me too. and guess what you get I feel like you can't go wrong squad in the like there's the not snake right I, mean, I know there's I'm not a, there's no so good much, moments in you can cry too. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, there's at the least game. a good Marvelous moment in a lot of these Janine Pixar the machine Stacy who's putting in work and the urban gladiator be wise Jay you can't get 1% off on this show let's deal with it damn it unless it was like alright I don't know what just happened I'm sorry yeah we were talking 
I am back with oh, the second place there, finisher, support too. Emma Fife. He's very and supportive, Fife I've noticed. Yeah, he's part of the team now. That sounds nice. That's true. But you know what? It sounds better than loser, so I appreciate that. It was a difficult start for you in this part. How are you feeling at this point? You moment. know, honestly, so basically, I don't care. Brand's now. I mean, this is oh, the thing. Looks like she's Janine the post reporter Brand. and the Patreon, as I, well as uh, can't what's her argue name? against that. She played extremely well. Oh, uh, Jen Sturgeon. Jen Sturgeon. Washington is very happy, she's and you know, sometimes. I think no he Rotten Tomatoes. Needs needs to well, there could be like a question that, like, how many movies was this person her, playing this and role? So Jake could say three, okay, but it was sure. four. One, one goddamn number. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The Fight Club does not. Or if Jay loses by one goddamn point. Yeah, that can happen. There's a few challenges that were issued to other people in your club here. Okay. Um, Janine has challenged Mark. Oh, Janine I've, challenged I've Mark. I think that's what we missed. Her, so oh, sure. he challenged him. Sure. Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, and we also have Marquia, the newest member of the Viper Squad, challenging you, Rachel. Oh. Yeah. Um, she's the newest played. one challenged maybe Rachel. Why would... Marvelous. Okay. Maybe okay. she's not, what the but fuck? like you said... <laughs> so true, yeah. So there, there is a way to get yeah. one god uh, percent it's geekdom, so Jay says Ryan or Vid will so be up sorry, later yeah. tonight. What yeah. video is that, Ryan? Not Top 10 to superhero oh, scores. Oh, nice. I really hope Fantastic Four makes the list. Yeah, or Fan Four Stick is what you meant to say. Yeah, yeah. What is this whole thing oh, with Viper great. Squad and Thanos Viper Squad? Thanos is doing this shit. Is, is there jealousy? What is going on? Why do they want you so badly? I mean, I think it's obvious. Jay Washington was making a big play for. Be wise. Our when am I reviewing in Inside Out? It was in, the Misfits. You Inside Out is after Brand. Monsters University, and, uh, so uh, the week you know, of the. Rachel it'll be the Cushing week of Incredibles no, 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 2. So yeah, around the 12th. I stepped in yeah. thanks to the help Ten, of Mark yeah. Andreco, who and that'll be with Darnell from the Knees Channel. So look forward to that. Don't spoil it. I'm sorry. I already right said in it in the so, live stream. Cody. Frankly, no, uh, no I, I, I just spoil champions. Fantastic That's what Four. I do. But if anybody else wants to issue a challenge, Jason. I'll always say, sure, why not? If you defeat me, then I know that maybe you're going to be a worthy opponent for one of my players. Mm, very good. The rivalry continues, and I'm so. So it looks glad like I'm they're going to accept those challenges. We're going to get right, an Andrake so over versus Janine. Mark accepted a challenge. Rachel has she challenged the challenge. Rachel as well. Challenged the new, the new Viper Squad member challenge, challenge yeah. Rachel. What did I say? Which one? Both Five of them? No, the from a newest challenge. one. Bring it, Jay. Not Janine. And she's yeah, gonna destroy him. Rachel. He's all yeah. sound and fury, yeah. signifying <laughs> zero. She's gonna fucking kill him. She's gonna get crushed zero. by the just Jeff like Jay said in his play on to the barnyard ball. Yeah, guys. she's gonna fucking kill him. I mean, look at that. all that stuff that went down. That was incredible. Look, first of all, let's start with the with just the machine. Jay, go on the fuck up, Jay. The Android, Mark Andreco here. Mark Andreco now continuing this, continuing this faction. That's the right way to do it. Where we have Andreco versus the machine. That is very interesting interesting how that's going to go down um i don't know what's going to happen there and then jay washington the story here is jay washington and marquia they both know that that inner geekdom that that we have that inner geekdom yep. gauntlet happening i think we jay both washington love the inner emma geekdom i mean yeah i gotta watch more to, comic to book movies but yes that inner geekdom. Emma yeah, the inner geekdom accepts it and then marquia nerds. challenges rachel cushing and cushing accepts it so right now we have the fife club like and, the star and wars the it's like just like the fight the fife club and the viper so squad are just going at it on top. Yeah, the, 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 the Marquia Rachel matchup else. is an interesting one, as is Jay. I don't think he's fully gotten over what happened at the Spectacular last year, but I don't want to bury the headline here. Is that the Janine Machine came to play, she came to win, and she had Emma Fife on the road. Emma Fife, a game effort, especially in round three when she needed it the most. Janine the Machine just. She proved it. No, I was very impressed with Janine's well, performance. Yeah, she didn't play. She's machine, really good. Sorry, rom com, she definitely did well. She took a lot of Emma Fife. Questions too, the ones that she got wrong. Yeah, she took it in this league to really showing what she, she definitely has knowledge over for sure. Emma Fife yeah. here. This Good for her. And if Look, I'm looking forward to seeing her compete more. Absolutely. Like Emma's he's got to accept. Own. He accepts She's got to win this. Then my goodness, Jay says Star Trek, I love, but some the of those questions are hard. Yeah, machine. just like Star right, Wars so and Star Trek. Those questions are really difficult. That's the match. First of all, because they like, you they're like, what's the number on this pod on this ship? What are these characters 
drinking in this scene, like myself so and Mark Ellis yeah, they make it very, very specific. Face each other and... one on one when we get that. Who's the co pilot of the loop? And Captain Need and uh, our buddies are going to that today, right? That's the filming. Yeah, Zach, Cody, John from the World Talk, Griffin from Men vs. Movies, Anthony and Anthony from Silver Screen. They're all Wish I was with them. The main event we just talked about him. But I'm you're gonna see him go live if you're there at the Elk Portal Theater. John the Shire and Jay go head to head and against and Team Jay, Action. And come and down if Team to Action <laughs> wins, they <laughs> will get a title shot. And we can the all have a party. Will be that gateway there. That, like Jay said, that's live stream would be really funny. All of you together. Yeah, like all of us together on the line. Who will see him? Will Team Action prevail? Will Rachel Cushing have any porgs left tomorrow night? You're gonna find out. And thank you to everybody out there watching here. Subscribe the collider video check out the schmodown rundown on apple Podcasts and the movie trivia schmodown facebook page that's christian harloff i'm mark ellis there what is another like episode we promise. yeah there is another episode are they gonna go right into it Boom. three rounds in the inner geekdom division for the number one contender introducing first he is the urban gladiator, Jay Washington. Oh, you're still watching. Right? <laughs> How's your feet? Stacey Howard, stand by Jay's side, oh, waiting. Wow. Grant has not been seen. We haven't seen Grant. Yeah, it's just a big show. It is Jay Washington really milking it in, loving the booze, taking the step. Look at him. He's loving it. I gotta tell you. Five. Four. Oh, yeah, he lost Three, this, didn't he? Two, I don't know. one. Oh, oh, it was Donald Gleason. No, and with Gleason. that, yeah. Jay Washington has oh, been Jay eliminated. Washington oh, what a show. What a show. That is Jay true. Uh, Jay is Jay underrated. I got to Jay, I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. You did quite well today. Pretty impressed? Yeah. Why aren't you not shocked that I didn't win? Did you not see the score? Did you not see how I kept up? Sure. Were you just as shocked when I beat Robert Meyer Burnett when he was crying? Were you just as shocked that I'm even here to do that? Huh? So you are basically saying that you're absolutely coming back and you're going to personally take people down in the spectacular you in some are, form or another. Yeah, pretty much. So you have that uh, that manager's role <laughs> thing with, yeah. with Tom yeah. and, and Jay, and I, I, I guess apparently now Rick. I was thinking. I would like to participate in that match. I know that you love contracts, so I just happen to have one here. Okay, I mean, this, everything's signed. Uh, you're in. Winning the first manager ball, the Golden Knight! Yeah! And she won, too. How do you feel right now? You don't look good. What happened back there, man? Then I have to blank out and watch Emma Bight get her favorite fucking category, Harry <laughs> Potter. How do you think I feel right now? How do you think? I am utterly, ultimately. Okay, do, do I hear you Listen. right? You're challenging Emma Five to a movie trivia showdown, man. It's not that hard to understand. I accept. And <laughs> your winner. I just saw this. Excuse champions. Me. That's what I do. But if anybody else wants to issue a challenge, I'll always say, sure, why not? I'm going to pour salt on this wound so much. Morton salt, ice salt, rock salt. Oh, Emma Fight, the inner geekdom gauntlet is coming up. And guess what? You get another help in the Vikings. Finally, an inner geekdom match that I think I can do well. Right here. I'm going to take you away. I want, I want so Christian to be the commissioner. Christian is such a all that likes his contracts and I want to see that compete. That versus Christian. The winner gets the commissioner's job. I like it. Christian wins, he gets his job. <laughs> Ryan, you're definitely gonna score more points than me. Yeah, Jay definitely will I, I did get that um I did get that New Mexico. I don't know where I knew that, I just knew I saw someone say that once. And it's the same guys, alright! And I'm Christian Harlow, here's Mark Ellis here, and we are in the heart of the Inner Geekdom Division. Yes, inner -geekdom. We're a lot of Inner Geekdom matches recently, too, I've noticed. Yeah, people will be in. It's a lot of fun. 
to these series of inner geekdom matches. And how about this when you talk about rivalry? You've got Emma Fife, the manager, the creator of the Fife Club, going up against the creator and the manager of the Viper Squad, Jay, the Urban Gladiator Washington. Yeah, Christian, I mean, yeah. if you look at this and you're digging through a pile of pudding that you would have in double, I am going Jay Washington. That red though. flag that is the contender. I'm going to go with Jason. Go Emma. We have two. Oh, Which one of these Emma contenders wants. today is going to be that double dare red flag? It's covered in pudding and slime and slop. Well, there's, I don't think there's an easy choice. They're going to bring out the porgs again. They've done battle <laughs> oh, on the singles. God, if you go back to the again, don't. <laughs> Spectacular. Emma Fife taking help. that victory with <coughs> shot, Clearly. giving it to um, Clark Wolf, who came that close in winning the championship. Used it very I love smart. Clark Wolf. She formed the Shire Wolf, so brought the Shire Wolves <laughs> over, and Jay and Washington and couldn't Gregor. do that. So <laughs> when you look at that, there's a victory over there. But then you look at what Washington has done with his with his squad. Janine just beat Fife mm -hmm. in the singles league. Um, you've got a new Marquia who's now going up against Rachel Cushing. Stacey Howard is just playing incredible right now. She's four and one. Janine's going up against Andrako. There's this just big beef here between the Five Club and the Viper <laughs> Squad, and it's all going to come to a head right here. Christian, I'll tell you this. I still think Emma Fife is the favorite because if she gets really? one of the wheels that is her strength. <laughs> That's right. It all Jay depends the on the wheel, Jay guys. I say it every single time. Round two determines the match. What could Jay says, I hope Jay loses. Yeah, I don't know if that's Jay. necessarily <laughs> fair. You look at Jay yes, Washington. Are, Jay. He has a victory over the former Jay, you're the one and only Meyer Jay. Burnett, and he also held, oh, he's loud. And he also held very, very strong when everyone thought he was going to get annihilated by Rachel Cushing and Inman, and he didn't. I hope they don't ask any X-Men questions. But he fought really hard. Jay Washington has proven I would I think Jay Washington's a lot stronger in the inner geekdom than he is in Wait. No, I'm talking about in this competition, ah. inner geekdom. He's better at it than the overall general trivia. Um, but this is something. That Jay's oh yeah, this is Jay this Washington's wheelhouse, no, no question. It. But it's going to be a good match. Absolutely. I can't wait to see it. And both of the competitors talked about it. Here we go. Here we go. In times of war, I love X Force. Two generals are allowed <laughs> to meet up to have preparation and have what's called I love ready games to draw the battle lines and. In this situation, that's what I did with Emma Five. The Urban Gladiator. I like that. That there'll be no Vipers. There'll be no club. It'll just be myself and her. Oh, Jay. I just think that this is a person who really has never gotten over the fact that I beat him in the manager's bowl. And no matter what happens today, that's not gonna undo Emma, uh, that. Fact that Emma, you still want to win, though, Emma. Right? The manager bowl has been festering, eating at my soul. Day I wonder if Jay does out, have blood. Watching the show now, being a Jay part of it, and just remembering I think so. that she won. I mean, it's in his name, she right? Won, yeah. She brought yeah, on the yeah, Android, yeah. and then for some reason, she was able to get two people I couldn't get. Do you understand how much that has frustrated me nonstop? This time, this moment, I let it all out. Honestly, I do want to beat Jay Washington today because I would like to get that loud mouth out of the way so that Rachel Cushing, who we all know is the future inner geekdom champion, can go on her journey without him constantly so you're not screaming gonna get in her Jason ear. In and you know what, frankly, Jay, if you do emerge victorious today and you and she Rachel face off against one another, champion. oh well. At least somebody from the Five Club will take you down. I am not playing any games no more. I've had to keep talking and begging and pleading to that Hawaiian shirt wearing idiot commissioner about finally having another match with your watch. Jay, it looks like he agrees so with I'm you. Telling telling he wants you that out. There's yeah. no more games that in Hawaii. There's no more Hawaiian costume. Shirts There's no more Love luck. It. This yes, is said Emma. and done. But I want you to do things you can do about it. I don't know. Not Nothing Emma wins. and Emma a lot of cadaver. I don't care, Jay. This this grudge is all in your head. It's against me. There's no rivalry between us because my faction is superior to yours. End of story. The end. I do have Stacey Howard, though. There's a machine. See, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> they really know how to yap in front of them. <laughs> too long of a black screen. Who can summon more knowledge? As an editor, that was too long of a black screen. What is inside yeah, these particular down. heads? <laughs> What's also very interesting is that they came to agreement that you're not going to get the Viper Squad here. You're not going to get the Fight Club. It's just going to be one-on-one. -on -one. Here's the battle, and they're going to get to it. And the other thing I found very interesting, if you saw the beginning of this match, Originally, it was talked about that at the Collider Collision, there was going to be a fatal five-way to determine. That is no longer the case. 
uh, oh, the ruling was Mike made Kalinowski by Mr. Said, Thad nope, Williams. Wants now a it's tournament. going to be a tournament of all these matches. Now, mm. eight matches, eight matches throughout those eight matches. Then they're going to play the winner. The Fatal like Five Ways were tournament fun, here now for the Inner Geekdom leading up to the collision. The winner will then play Inman. But, man, tons of new uh, opportunities for new competitors who didn't think they were going to have a shot at this thing. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I used to hate that Thad Williams was the commissioner. I might be singing a different tune. He's giving a lot of opportunities to a lot of newcomers. Well, that's why I want to know what was in that envelope that he opened up in the beginning of the thing because he didn't seem like he wanted to do it, but there's more on that later. All right, Same. I'm ready to get going. I, I want to know what it said. Well, but of course, well, they're not going to tell us. You, you look at they're all You know that she's us. strong at poor collecting. You look at Jay Watson. Go John you know he's Roca. Really Wait, taking he's selfies of he's himself not, sweaty. Not. What are they good at when it comes to the inner geekdom? John right, Roca's so, so here we go. Though. Inner geekdom. The, Emma the outlaw. The outlaw. Comic book movies. Harry of course, comic book movies. Harry Potter and... That is a door. Did you say poor consumption? Does she know? Does she have a recipe cookbook? She loves poor. She won't eat them, you heathen. Star and Wars. Then Jay Washington, DC movies, DC comic comic movies in general, and taking selfies of himself Lord at the gym. And, so and eating porks. And he eats porks oh, as well. Okay. Porks. So that's it. That is absolutely <laughs> that's a lot of protein. Okay, I'm ready to get going. How about you? We get what you meant, Jay. Don't worry. We're going to shirt. We didn't get what you meant. It's terrible. Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, Wars, it's time yeah. for nice the movie trivia schmodown. Why should we get a Star Wars question, Three right? Three <laughs> <laughs> If I get a Star Wars what's question, the name, what's the name first. of the Wookiee? <laughs> Chewbacca. If I get a Star Wars question right, I'm not gonna watch the. Representing Rebels. the Fight Club. This sounds so familiar. She is the 2017 Manager Ball winner. Clone Wars. Yeah, ask me some the Clone Wars Clone. questions. I'll get Emma it right. <laughs> We just saw Emma. Hey, hey Emma. Like she's like the Jay Coast says you've got this. You got this. I'm going to try and at least get five points. That's my goal for this That's match. your goal. Get five points. I got three last time. I got three. I'm going for five. Do better. Do better. Her opponent. With a record. Of one win, I hear that one defeat Panther music. in the Inner Geekdom oh, Division. We are the business today. He is the business today. The, the new PB and J. Creator of the Viper Club. Ladies and gentlemen, the Army Gladiator. We Vader. Boo yourself. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. So just saying no factions, mono, he loser. Not even really worried about no. representing the Viper Club as much as himself. That's right. In this matchup. Well, that's what he wants to do. He All right, I'm going to score more points than Jay Vader. In that's that my faction, goal. But what can he do himself here today in the Inner Geek? Can he go to two and one? We're going to find out. <laughs> All right, Mark, what are the rules for round number one? In round number okay. one of the Inner Geekdom match, the competitors... If you guys are in the chat, feel free to play along with us. Yeah, feel free. I know Jay's going to play along. of Geekdom, these questions are to Make the field. As soon as you hear the question asked, you have 15 seconds to write down your best... Just no Star Trek, no Hobbit, no... No more of the Ravens. <laughs> we kindly gave you markers to write on those whiteboards so you do not have to use your own blood. Each question is worth one point. There's no penalty for missing sure a question. A there is no stealing paper. available in round <laughs> one. There's many cute creatures like in Star Adam Wars. There is no consumption of any of them during Love the match here today, Watch Christian. Yeah. 15 seconds to answer the question. JTE rules and the challenges. Make sure that you use them and pay attention to how many you have and how many like you have left. First match okay, so, right Jay, you ready? I'm using, using no guards. Marker. this. Emma, are you ready? A reminder that porgs are friends, not food. Let's do it. <laughs> and let's get ready to... Finding Nemo <laughs> reference! I get it! Right, here we go. Round number one. Question number one in the realm of Star Trek. Fuck. Oh, 1986 saw the release of which number... Star Trek film. 1986, is that what it said? Which number yeah. of the Star Trek films? There's been like uh, 38, I believe, by last count. Robert Meyer Renette would know they would know. Five, Three. But, uh, four, 38 ish. Three. Nemesis. Two, one. Pens down. Jay. Star Trek Refcon. That's incorrect. I Emma. also put Refcon. <laughs> the second one's wrong. It was number four, which is The Voyage Home. Uh, the one dang with it. The whale. Jay got it right. No! <laughs> <laughs> one with because I like whales. Don't eat whales either. Your next category is Star Lord of spot. the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Uh, Based you on the start numbers, with the your one question I don't is, want. Denethor is seen to be holding what in his lap when Gandalf and Pippin come to see him 
in the return of the king. You ever seen a return What's of a king? What's he holding in his lap? On a plane? And as we were landing, Money? I had to turn I don't it know. Right before the end. Oh, well. Heartbreaking. <laughs> all five endings. Five, four. A sword. Three, <laughs> two, one. Pens down. Emma. Uh, Boromir's horn. That's correct. I say Nargio. Oh, Emma. <laughs> one nothing here. Uh, of course, Jay gets, gets it right again, man. Horn. So Emma is up. Uh, one nothing. All right. So Emma yes, good job, crazy guy. What's up, man? Here's we get to our next question, and that is in the category of the MCU. Category of the MCU. In the Guardians of the Galaxy films, how does Yondu control his arrow? Oh, oh, oh! You and him, uh, good friends in here. I like that, Mike. Good, uh, good rapport. I like that rapport. Yeah. Whistle. Like right. Shaking his hand in uh, all rats. Five. Kind of no, gross. No, we'll that. Four. Three. Kinda grody. Two. One. Pens down, please. Jay. Whistling and threw the fan on his head. Correct. <laughs> I, I wrote with a laser gun because oh. I had no idea. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, Ryan, we're on the board. Hey, okay. wow, I'm shocked that I didn't know one. Okay, so 1-1, <laughs> one, one, tie game here but, as we get to our next But question. I like that. It's like Rocket Raccoon's a little cat chasing after <laughs> yeah. the little exactly. laser. It'd be adorable. <laughs> Not accurate at all. <laughs> next question. From the world of Harry Potter. Thank let's you. do it. What animal form does the Patronus take that leads Harry to Gryffindor's sword in the Deathly Hallows Part 1? Jesus. Uh, yeah. Let it go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you beat yeah. the question? Yeah. What I, I, form of I, I animal does his dementor turn judges. into when he Five. leads him and to I the sword? The system could use two I'm going to guess a wolf. Two, one. Pens down, please. And we're going to. Is it Jay here? Uh, Jay. A horse? Incorrect. A doe? Correct. A deer. Jeez, Jay. Five gets it. Goes back up 2 1 here on Jay Washington. Next one is from. DC, oh, DC I know movies. That was a dough, yeah. Mark Strong played which Green Lantern Corps leader in the 2011 Ryan Reynolds shitbox film? So, a needle pulling thread. Keep going. La, note the follow so. Try and guess. Good. Me neither. That will bring us back to do, do, five, do, do, four, do, do, three. Stop it. Two, man. one. Pens down and MFI. five. I'm gonna echo Christian sentiments and just say, who's even seen that? <laughs> uh, we'll see if Jay has seen it. I have, because it's Sinestro. That's correct. Ooh. Ooh. Look at this. Right, Harvey, two, we go. <laughs> two, two. Next question. We go to the world of the Hobbit. These are movies made after Lord of the Rings. But they take place before. What is the name of Bilbo Baggins' home in the Shire? Not Talia Shire. Me, the name oh, come on, I call myself. Narnia? Fox. A we, want people, way to run. we want people to watch this. Five. Just going to guess and say I Narnia because I know it's wrong. Order, but, uh, Three. <laughs> kill me. Part Two. Credit. One. Pens down, Mogor. please. And Jay. She knows that I don't. Emma. I do, it's back end. Correct. <laughs> Jay gets it right again. <laughs> <laughs> Can we give a half point? That was, that was it's amazing how we go back and forth here. <laughs> next question here. Next name question Baggins. from the yeah. DCEU. DCEU. Um, I can't see anybody missing this one. Who plays Aquaman in Justice League? Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, oh wait, what's his name? No, 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 no. I want you to oh, stop. Oh, okay, okay, I got it. Okay, two I want, more. I, you gotta stop. Mm -hmm. Jason Momoa. Five, four. Jason Momoa. Three. To one, if either one of you gets it wrong, you're gonna be asked to leave. Emma, uh, that would be Jason Momoa. Correct. And Jay, it's Jason Momoa playing Jason Momoa <laughs> as Aquaman. Oh, okay, that so is an accurate statement. We're tied, right? There we go. Okay. Tremendous hair on that young man. I'm gonna say before you read it, I love this next question. AKA Calvin. Oh, right. Next question <laughs> comes from the world of Star Wars. No. In the galaxy far, far away, what color of lightsabers? Did Anakin Skywalker use to execute Count Dooku in Revenge of the Sith? <laughs> Talk about a spoiler alert, am I right? Too soon. We'll pick that up again. Oh, Talk no, about a no, spoiler no. alert, am I right? Green and red. Four. Keep reading the question. Keep reading the question. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. What color of lightsabers did Anakin Green Skywalker use to execute Count Dooku in Revenge of the Sith? Where does Five. that rank in your favorite? Four. You're already counting. We'll talk. Three. Two, one, pens down, Jay. Blue and green? Incorrect. Uh, red and blue? No, you're ah, right. Ah, damn it. Right. 
that down. Two. But it was, it was yeah. red and blue. Everyone, it everyone in the chat got it right. Nice job, guys. Five with a one point I'll take, uh, you know what? Yeah. I, I accept the that uh, crazy Jane Fonda ruling on that. All right, here, <laughs> here we go. That was a Jane Fonda ruling. You're absolutely right. Uh, but you didn't write it down. All right, so yeah, here we go. Also, Mar Marvel. Marvel is Marvel. your category. Marvel. I like how MF5 accepted that she didn't follow the rules and didn't get the point and she didn't argue about it. I like that. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Marvel. Didn't Marvel. have to have a 20 minute no, debate about no, it. No, and I can sleep easier. Marvel. And because of that, Emma, you can uh, choose another wheel to spin on whenever you. Uh, you know, <laughs> give, her, give her three points. Jay will sign off on it. All right, here we go. Who, uh, Marvel. Marvel. Who played Cyclops in 2000's X Men? Well, you don't like when I say X Men? Again? Oh, yeah, yeah, you, you say like, like it's their last name. X -Men. We I love the Schmodown, yeah, too, man. Thanks for tuning in and watching. Yeah, Louis X-Men. Yeah. Hi, I'm Bob X-Men. James Madsen. Ralph X-Men. And five, four, three. Can you repeat the question? Absolutely. Who played Cyclops in 2000's X-Men? No, you got it wrong! <laughs> James Murray. <laughs> no, you got it wrong! <laughs> Do you know what you're doing? Do you know you're missing it? Get off me. <laughs> Five. You said James Mars. You Mars said Madsen. Two, one. Pens down. Emma. I totally brain dead. Could not come up with the name. <laughs> okay. And James Marsden. That's Marsden. correct. No, I'm not Marsden. giving you the point. You said Madsen. Ties it up. And I did the same thing and earlier, and Emma I couldn't get the point. Used one so. of their JT rules. That's Sorry, right. They're flicking the jab as we go. <laughs> Wait, are you guys almost done? We're about almost about halfway one through this match. One more match. Category of mixed bag. And your query is, which actor? plays the role of Sulla in Indiana Jones and Gimli in Lord of the Rings. Not a wide swath of geek. Repeat the question. No, I'll tell exactly. you, it's, and it's, it's tied. Gimli, it's, Gimli it's, it's in Lord of the four, Rings and... and so, what yep, was the first is, from... This is going to be going into round two. And five. Yeah. Four. Three. Two. One. J. Didn't get it. Emma. John Reese Davies. Got it. Okay, and look at that. Emma Five goes up. Five, five, four. Four. And now, we're getting into round two, Mark. How does round two work? Round number two, affectionately known as the wheel round. Good job, Jay. I didn't even hear the question. That's why you have to hear it the first time, right? If you don't leave the category, you spin. You are allowed a mulligan. At the end of that round, Ryan has two, and I have two. If you don't leave the category, you will have five. Questions. Jay has Again, 40. Inner Geekdom, five <laughs> questions are yours to be answered. Each question is worth two points. If you're not sure of the answer, you can check the multiple choice. At which point the value of the question goes down to one. Keep in mind, competitors, there is stealing available in round two. All right, Emma, you are in the lead here. Do you want to go first or second? Uh, I will go second. My birthday is four right, days Jay, away after the release of Jurassic Park 5. Jay, That's cool, man. Happy Jay. early birthday. Happy Emma's early birthday, you guys. Walking over here, he is yeah. wearing a classic actually. Chicago Bulls. Sorry, one guy is looking one for goddamn DC, point. DC, or anything in the comic world. That's what he's looking for. He's spinning away from Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter. <laughs> will he be amongst the all-time Bulls? Give me MCU, like baby. Jordan, baby. Jerry Sloan. He's, he, wants to, he wants to start okay. off strong here. You're welcome, man. He's by Fife to kind of put the pressure on him. Going away. Oh, and we're looking at Star Trek, perhaps, Christian. Oh, DC. Oh, DC it lands on DC. What's That's he going to do? This, man. Is, this, is a, this is a kind of a little bit of a dilemma. Him. It is. DC? Does he want to take DC? Fate, no. Or does he want to shoot for DC movies? He did well as far as points are concerned with movies involving yeah. DC properties. Ryan right, would suck at Lord of the Rings. He's wow. going yes, again. he would. <laughs> There's a lot of scary that things. Wow, I'm surprised that he did that. Fatal, depending on what I thought he was going on. to... Um, um, I thought this could be Harry Potter. Potter. I don't know. I'm questioning that decision. I think Jay Washington knew DC movies... I think he's hunting uh, maybe a Marvel movie category on He there, might be. But he might be. Not, it doesn't look like it's going to get there, Christian. This could be DC movies all over again. Oh. DC. DC stuck with it this again. time. He's got DC. DC movies anyway, no matter what. You're not comfortable so, with that? He's got it. Walking back like that's what he planned the whole time. Like, all right. The Batman movie? Okay, here you go, Jay. He's DC like movies, Bat five Michael questions Keaton. in DC. Who played the mobster, Gamble, that put the hit out on the Joker in The Dark Knight? Which actor played the mobster? Game. Michael Jai White. That's correct. Oh, All God. right. Black For dude. Two oh, points. Two names. points. Didn't even need multiple <laughs> choice. All right. Next yes, question. Yes, he will Superman be wise, two. I believe. What is the name of Zod's oh, second yeah, Mama in Mia, command yeah. played by Sarah Douglas? Multiple choice. Is yes, it A, Ursa, B, Barda, C, Mera, D, Feyora? 
Fiora. Incorrect. Is it A, Ursa? That's correct for I'm one point. Man steel. Yes. Back to Tide. Tricky Watch Skaleski. Three Tricky Skaleski. questions yeah. left. All right. Who played the villainous Quentin Turnbull in the abomination Jonah Hex? You gotta stop judging movies when you're asking oh, questions. Sorry. I'm trying hey. to be an impartial arbiter. I apologize. Multiple choice. A. John Malkovich. B. Clancy Brown. C. Stephen Lang. D. Lang. Jonathan Shex. Answer. Jonathan Shex. Stephen Lang. Incorrect. <laughs> Uh, can I hear the choices again? Yes. Is it A, John Malkovich, B, Clancy Brown, John C, Malkovich. Stephen Lang, D, Jonathan Shetch? Clancy Brown? And then you said uh, no, Lang. He said Stephen Lang. Uh, no, Clancy sorry, Brown. both yeah. wrong. Uh, John, Malkovich John Malkovich was the answer. Oh, okay. John Malkovich. All you right. said D, though, So first. now question Please. number four. Who was credited as Superman's biological father, Jor-El, in Superman Returns? Russell the, Crowe. Uh, the actor. The actor. Russell Crowe. Multiple choice. A, Marlon Brando. B, Anthony Hopkins. C, Liam Neeson. D, Dustin Hoffman. Oh, this is the original Superman. Who's Jor-El, Marlon Brando? Five, four, three, two. Liam Neeson. Incorrect. <laughs> Marlon, Marlon Brando. Brando. One point for Emma Fight. One point they brought say back Brando. 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 Yes. Yes. For Superman yep. Return. Yes. You, were, you right. thought it was the newer one? Nice. Okay, nice. here we go. DC. One more. Green Lantern's ring and power batteries are fueled by Will. What? Will is correct. Two Whoa, points for just, Jay. No. Got that one. Is okay. that really what powers it? Is good old fashioned want to? All right. So, Daniel, <laughs> it was a good strategy by Emma to, to go second here because now she is up after five Only up by one. So, one for yeah. Jay. if Two Emma gets Jay, Harry Potter right, here. Exactly. Yeah, she needs Harry She's Potter. up spinning. Jay Washington yeah. up one point, but uh, that, that's not what you want to see your lead dwindle to. After you've already gone in round two, round and round the wheel goes. Uh, she's MCU, hunting Harry MCU. Potter, she's maybe Lord of the Rings. Fantastic. And Looks like we're getting on. Star Wars, perhaps, Christian. Oh, she hit this against Inman, and she it did not go her way. Star Wars? Wars? questions do we have? I know, that's the question. She knows Star Wars, but it did not treat right. her well. She's, she's, she's good at Lord of the Rings. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, what is she, she going to do? She's paid money for tickets to see Star yeah. Wars. We've got to count you down here in five, four... Spinning away spin from Star again. Wars. Ooh, okay. would you have? A lot of people up here on this I'd answer desk would not have done the same thing. Well, no, she, again, like I said, she did it against him, and it just didn't go her way. She, she probably wants to try something else. Here smart, we go, looking for maybe a... I don't think we have a hobbit away from Star Wars. Oh, oh, that might be big. Could be... Oh! Oh, she got oh, it. Oh, there we go. Where's there she going? Go. Look at Jay Washington. Harry Potter oh, it is. Harry Potter! Oh, I, have, oh, I have a chance! Yeah, Chris, That's I'm Jay's right weakness, Jay's too. Gonna need I have to a chance. Some sort of crazy steal here That's in round Jay's two to have a shot in round he three. Is, if, because Emma, this is her strength. Jay Washington. All right. Nice. Move to Harry Potter questions. Emma Fife, your first question in the world of Mr. Oh. Potter. Mm -hmm. In Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, what number is the vault that the Sorcerer's Nine, Stone no, no. is kept in? 713. It wow. would have been funnier if it was 69, but you are correct. <laughs> two points for Emma Fife, and she all of a sudden has the lead. Your next question in round two, Harry Potter movies. What are the objects that are used to store part of a person's soul called in Harry Potter? Horcruxes. Wow. Two, Two more, more points. points. <laughs> Let me get a chance to think. <laughs> All right, Emma. In Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, what precious material are Okami eggs made out of? Uh, can I have multiple choice, please? Certainly. Is it A, gold? B, silver? C, platinum? Or D, bronze? I believe it is gold. That is incorrect, Why J. Washington, for the steal. I don't know. I only uh, seen it uh, once. You had it right there. It was silver. silver. Take a guess, at silver. least. Silver. <laughs> so Emma's still by three I've never seen it, so I'm not going to answer. questions here left in Harry Potter. All right. She Emma, is fast. your next question and your penultimate one. In Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, is... what does Ron tell Draco to eat? But the Slugs. spell backfires on him. Slugs. Two Good more points. It's a five-point lead. We're we definitely going Chambers. to. Yeah, we just watched it. Yeah, it's just yeah, a question just of how much Chambers. suspense we'll be in. Because Emma Five has one more question. She can extend this lead to seven. Here's the query. 
What is the name of the gossipy reporter that appears in the Goblet of Fire? Rita Skeeter. It Two is Rita Skeeter. Wow. 15 wow. to 8, and Jay Washington. Wow. Jay Washington. Wow. Never gotten to Goblet of Fire. He's in trouble. Spinner's That's two away. Yeah, and look at that. So Jay Washington is on the road. I knew here, them, going in but the I knew a few of those. But well, you have spun away from Star Wars knowing what she you was know just way too about Emma's wife's ability. Oh, I think it was the wise yeah, move she's to get away for that other nerd. All right, well, yeah, at the end of round two, guys, Ryan did get two points there with the slugs. Uh, so Ryan is up four way, to so two. She, she tempted fate not and well. fate. Not doing nice well this match, but White you know you can't always do well. Washington's either. head. All right, round three, Mark. How's it go? In round three, each competitor. Jay has now probably numbers, like seventy-three. Yeah, seventy-three. <laughs> Bys probably has like thirty-two. And that crazy guy probably has hundred. Yeah. Gonna be worth two right. points. Your next question is worth three points. Bys, I've only seen that four far, out of nine total, points. including fame. Wow, Bys, you gotta watch the men. You gotta watch the rest of the movies, man. They're so good. Three numbers first. Yes, you're right. If I can continue, four to nine. Washington will give us the numbers. Hey, if you watch Lord of the Rings, Ryan will. If you watch Harry Potter, Ryan will. Nine and 13. All right, Jay really needs some good numbers here. Jay, what do you got? He's in a daze. Two, six, and 14. Two, six, and 14? Two, six, and 14? Yeah. Two, six, and 14. So, Jay Washington. All right, Jay, he need a, he need a come back he here, needs buddy. At least two. Uh, he needs a five pointer for sure, and th he's gonna need all the points he can get. Oh, I think it's know? fair to say that. Emma Matt, Lando, he is harsh. harsh. No, he needs the five and the three. Yeah. Math is, whoo, right. boy. After tenth grade, right. it gets really tough. <laughs> Jay, your first one is <laughs> Good for numbers. number two. Get <laughs> out of here, will you? Say something funny. Huh. Jay, Jay, I'm no you know Indiana, Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. Jones. Yeah, here you go. In the Indiana Jones series, who said the following quote? I find that if I just sit down, the solution presents itself. Who said that quote? Yeah. Um, sounds like a Star Trek quote. <laughs> it's Indiana Jones. Oh, Indiana Five, Jones? <laughs> four. Three. Repeat the question. It's your second one. In the Indiana Jay Jones series, who said yeah, the following Jay, quote? I, I find that if I just sit down, the solution presents itself. Indiana Jones? Incorrect. Looking for Indiana Jones's father, Henry Jones Nice job, Jay. Senior. Oh, and sure, so I'll watch. I mean, rewatch Lord of the Rings for Ryan and rewatch Harry Potter. All right, deal. Misses this three -pointer. That is a good question. Emma the guy who played Bond. win via TKO yeah. over Jay Washington. Yeah, right. Got to hit the three-pointer. What Jay category did he get? Washington chose number six. This is going to be nice for him. It's the DCEU. Okay. The DCEU. Right. Yes, yes. Here you go. Jay, to stay alive in Justice League. Name two of the groups that joined the Amazons in foiling Steppenwolf's plans thousands of years there. ago. The Lancers and the Atlanteans. That is correct. Yeah, okay. Okay. So yeah. I said it. Green Lancers. He has a yeah, chance to regain it too. those. They're, they're yeah, 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 no <laughs> if he gets this, he avoids the TKO and he forces it back no to idea. Emma Fight. This is Jay. But he dies. <laughs> it's number 14. He finally gets one wrong. That's villains. Villains. That's villains. Killmonger! Sorry. Okay. He wants to be a villain. Yeah. He posts about it all the time. All right. In 19... This is it. In villains. In 1989's Batman, at the museum, Vicky Vale asked the Joker what he wants. What was his initial response? A song. A song, a dance, Batman's head on a lance. That is correct. Okay. That is correct. That is also correct. would have accepted his face on the one dollar bill, but uh, he did one song. There you go. Jay said it. Jay said his face on the one dollar bill. All right. So that's a huge. Jay Washington guess. fought his way out of the wow. TKO, and now he forces Emma Fife to try to win the game on any one of her questions. If she just hits one question, she wins. Mark, she chose number four. What did I'm she choose? I'm just guessing. I have no uh, Number four clue. Yeah. is your yeah. Jay got it. Emma, that was the other answer they were yeah, to a category that may not though. thrill fans of the Viper Squad or Jay Washington. That she just needs one point question. Lord of the Rings. She and Lord of the Rings. your two-point question is, strikes. in the Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, who found the ring after Isildur? Isildur. Close Isildur. Lost it. Smeagol. It was Smeagol and Deagol, eventually oh, oh. Gollum. And your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Emma Fife. the Golden Mike, Emma Fife. Fife does it. She beats the 
Looks like that crazy guy got it right too. Okay, what do you want to challenge? Because she said Man. No, it's Smeagol and Deagle. Oh wait, they both found it. And then later Smeagol killed Deagle and then he became Gollum. She said Smeagol initially. And then you had to repeat it. So I'm challenging it. Challenge right. I would challenge it. Challenge here's, the thing, here's the thing, though, I, is I that Smeagol isn't wrong. It's not, but it's Smeagol and Deagle. Well, then I would challenge the way the question is worded. All right, here's the, here's the challenge. The challenge is on the board. All right. Okay, All not right, over so yet. We're going to get another question. Yeah, most That's likely. just how these challenges work. Interesting, interesting. So they're saying uh, it's two characters? The challenge, the challenge on the board was that uh, Emma Fife initially she said Smeagol for the answer and Jay challenged it because she said Smeagol and Deagle. They are not the same person. They are different people. It is Deagle. We're going to award Jay Washington Deagle got the challenge. First. So okay. it was Deagle. So Jay won Deagle the challenge. A different okay. person. So now Emma Deagle Fife has to hit her three. The match Deagle did continues. find it first. Well, they're going we'll to get to our Interesting. second question here. And that is... Uh, All right. Emma Fife chose number nine, I believe, for her three-pointer. And that corresponds to a category that you spun away from in round two. And that would be Star Wars. Nothing Ooh. but Star Wars for three points. And the win. Emma Fife, your question. What was Yoda's approximate age when he passed away? Um, 900. And mm. your winner! <laughs> wow! <laughs> That's one of those. Wow! I didn't know it. It was a Star Wars question. <laughs> we just got pretty darn good it was you didn't good, know that? Good match. Emma Fife is advancing now you know. Takes out the <laughs> All right, so guys, let's round up the totals here. Jay with 150, BYs with 92, that crazy guy with 47, and Ryan had four, and I had two. That wasn't a good play along for us, but it was still entertaining. We had a bunch of you guys playing with us, so that was fun. You guys are giving us some knowledge on Lord of the Rings, which we in round three, I yes, thought, okay, well, it's time to wave the white flag. But Jay, he just kept coming. We're gonna back. watch till the end of this. Just hear what, that's where he gets you know, that what goes on. As he goes to the gym, he builds up the ability to compete hard for all three rounds. Emma Five, just too tough well, today. Well, now Emma Five goes further in this inner geekdom tournament, yep. and now the question can't wait to fight you. Yeah, Ryan, you just got a little taste of it right there. Jay knows his shit. Okay, let's say that Rachel wins that match. Okay. Um, then what happens if Rachel and Emma have to f face each other? When's the one? next one? It's Tuesday. It's right? Don't be they come out Tuesdays and Fridays? Yep. That is not so to Tuesday be probably I mean, or Wednesday, I, you depending on when we can do the play. Is gonna be, if everybody can still be, yep, but, so but that's a ways down the road. Time. Who knows? For, Rachel's got to get by Marquia first. We know nothing about Marquia. We know nothing about her whatsoever. She could be the greatest player that we've ever seen in this game. So I know Rachel's not sleeping on her. Pretty knowledgeable on movie talk. I can vouch for that. All right. So that's how I know her. Serger, who is backstage yes. with both the Golden Mike and the Urban Gladiator. Here we go. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodat Jen fans? Sturger. Jen Sturger here with the Golden Mike, Emma Five. Congratulations on a well-fought match. Thank you. I, uh, I feel good about what I accomplished today. I was a little annoyed with myself for not writing red and blue on that Star Wars question in the beginning because <laughs> I, I almost Ryan's wrote and pre blue, especially when Jay called for the repeat. But <laughs> I'm I off on like, Tuesday, nah, so I'll be in the stream to like, kill no, you said, again. Colors, oh, colors, colors. I feel like this is a trick question, <laughs> but I think I redeemed down. myself on that uh, three-pointer there with 900 and Yoda, Private so Sardita, I feel pretty good. Joke from and then well, skipping go. past Star yeah. Wars. Yeah. What was the logic there? Were here's you a the little thing. scared? I, I, so here's the thing. I know Star Wars quite well. I really do. I'm a big Star Wars fan. I know a lot, certainly, about the too. Star Wars universe. When but it comes, you're a little gun shy. When it, when, it, when it comes to the finer details of the actual film, sometimes I really don't know. Uh, so I spun away from it because the last time I did not, and it was all pretty, pretty specific details about things that had gone on in the films. And frankly, we have had multiple whole Star Wars matches. So naturally, that elevates the levels of the questions That's that you get point. even in Inner Geekdom or outside of Inner Geekdom. Star Wars is often a category in regular Schmodown matches. So just by virtue of the fact that you've had so many questions, Star Wars 
can be a little challenging. I, I, I thought really hard about it because I knew it could be worse than Star Wars for me, quite frankly. But I spun away and uh, it, ultimately it worked I'm out. very glad I did. You got Harry Potter. Absolutely <laughs> saved yourself from potentially some pretty deep cuts. Sure, and got to get... <laughs> yeah, and yeah and right, Cody. Totally. I will yeah. one day. Yeah, one day I'm going to challenge both of you and Jay to Star uh, Wars time I've and I'm Harry still going to lose. It's just worked out with <laughs> Harry Potter. I, I was very, very happy to get to do that today because... That is really a strong point for me. Do it's watch Screen Junkies. Really oh, yeah. Movie fights. I don't watch that I am really passionate about. I am really passionate about. You don't? I am really knowledgeable Come about. On. So. And I can see that a little frustrated in the last round. Especially if it's animation. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, I thought about it, and it really it really was a fair challenge. And I, you know, I can envision this. Where was the Ratatouille part? I swear to God, every time I watch Ratatouille, I'm like, where was that? 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 Where was
are new here, be sure to subscribe. We want to hear from you guys. Now, comment, let us know what did you think of today's match. Did you like my shirt and my jokes, or are you like Christian and you weren't so high on them? That's right. And also, Jay Washington talking about the fact he's right. Me and you would make the ultimate take, dude. I would to bro. Jay, I'm in, man. If that ever becomes a thing, dude, I would love to see that. He's getting back to being a the the ruler of a faction. I would pick Rachel for animation. He was all for himself, and now now he. So that way, if I have a shitty performance, Jay would get all the guys. Thank you guys very much for. I can't wait for Tuesday too. We plan on definitely doing these as often as we can. Yes, we have so much more we want to do. And in order. Oh, that crazy guy. Are you new here by any chance? Yeah, let us know that crazy. But he asks, you do this every week at this time. Oh, we. Are you talking about live stream or this schmodown? We try to do them as the episodes come out. Yes, whatever time is available for us. Oh, he's new. Well, thank you for tuning. Well, thank you for tuning in, that crazy guy. Oh, Kalinowski. Hey, Mike. Uh-oh. Is he recruiting uh, them to the Four shh, Horsemen? Shh, shh. I hear you're making some moves. Yeah, making moves. All right. All right. All right. Recruit him to the Four Horsemen. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes. Mike, <laughs> Mike, Mike for Four Horsemen. I'm for please. that. I'm for that. Right, I don't want to as much as we love the Smowdown stats with Frankie. Yeah. Please. Sorry, buddy. Mike, oh my God. Mike Kalinowski for Four Horsemen. Please. I'm down for that. Do that. I'm down for Do that. Do that. That'd be awesome. That would be really cool to see that. Um, oh, Jay, we were destroyed above the line. Absolutely. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Drew McQueen is scary, more scary than Jay Vader's. But. Wings. 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 No, but that crazy guy, thank you for tuning in for the first time here, man. <laughs> we appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Usually when the episodes come out, which is Tuesdays and Friday, we try to do them as soon as we can. Yeah, we do them as soon as we can. So, uh, if I work, I can't do it. Then. But Ryan, this is a movie review channel, too. We don't just do this. Yeah, yet. we don't just do this. I do movie reviews, trailer reactions, and all that. And I... That That's was a great. That was a great two episodes, though. I'm glad Emma. She did lose the first one, but then she came out on top. Absolutely, then, Emma deserved it. She did great. She got Harry Potter. A lot of stuff in that episode, though. We saw with the Kalinowski deal in the beginning, and now Roka hmm. offering maybe. Well, it wasn't an offer, but it kind of hinted at it, like a little tease, kind of thing. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Cool. All right, guys, that does it for the Schmodown play along. Let us know your thoughts and opinions below. We're about to hit an hour and a half, so. Yeah. So thank you guys, as always, for tuning in to the Shimona live stream. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe today for more content. All my social media links are in the description down below. Click that notification bell on your way out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Thank you all for tuning in. Have a great night, and this was a lot of fun, Jay. You're right. We will see you all very, very soon. Take care, everyone. Have a good night.